In this and the next video, I want to take a look at how student loans work. Actually, this was prompted by a recent news article that Sally May, the largest provider of student loans, was going to change the way that it administered student loans. So I thought we'd take a look at how uh, these student loans are calculated. Now, let's assume that uh, we're going to, say, borrow uh, $4,000 for the uh, each semester for the freshman and sophomore year. And we'd like to track how much we uh, ultimately end up have to owe for this. So if we borrow a $4,000 a year, of course, we start and we only owe $4,000. OK, and let's make some assumptions here. Let's assume, say, that the interest rate is going to be 12% uh, compounded monthly, and that, uh, all right, so what do we owe? We're not, not the way student loans will work, you'll borrow this money, okay, but you're not going to pay any, and this is the traditional way it works, you're not going to pay any interest on, on this until you graduate. So let's go along here, so six months later. Uh, we'll say the semesters are like six months, so you now have to borrow another $4,000. Okay, well, how much do we owe at this point? Well, we have to take this $4,000, and there was interest, which uh, we should have been paying, but we weren't. And so, we'll to make life simple, we'll say that's six months, so that's going to be times 1% a month to the 1.01 .01 to the sixth power. And then we're going to have to add uh, the new loan of $4,000 to this to determine what our payments are going to be. Okay, let's calculate this. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, well, we can take 4,000 times 1.01 .01 raised to the sixth power. So our four original 4,000 is now going to be that is our uh, balance and we'll add another 4,000 to it and we'll get that this is we'll drop the pennies here and we'll just say it's 82.46 okay so what that means is that you see the interest we're not paying is being added to the principal so that that goes into what we owe eventually okay so let's go through another uh, six month period here and we'll then have to borrow starting in the second year another 4,000. Uh, how much are we going to then? Oh well, we're going to have to take this 82.46, and there was interest that it's going to generate, so we have to add that to the principal, and then we're going to have to add another 4,000 to that. So let's see what that total works out to be. I'm not very good with that arithmetic in my head, so we'll come back here. Uh, let's just multiply this now times one. 0.01 raised to the sixth, and then we'll add 4,000, and we'll see it comes out to be again. We'll drop the penny, so we'll just say it's 12,753, and we see that even though we borrowed 12,000 dollars. There's been $753 of interest payments that have accrued that we're then going to owe. Okay, so let's go along here. And so uh, six months later, uh, we borrow another $4,000 to pay our tuition. So how much do we owe after that? Well, here is this amount. Again, we want to multiply it by uh, add the interest to it. And then we're going to have to add the 4000 Okay, so let's see what we're going to come away with now. Okay, so we'll multiply this by add the interest to the amount that we owe. Okay, and then we'll add 4,000. Okay, and so, well, we'll round it off again. We'll say uh, 17,538. makes it easier to write down. Okay, now 
Now, here we've got uh, to finish before we graduate here, so there's a few more months left. Well, let me see. This is like a year and a half, so there should be, if we graduate in four years, uh, there'll be 30 months left. And so what are we going to owe at the, at the length of this time? We're not going to borrow anything more, but now we'll have to take our, our balance here and add the additional interest, which has been accumulating every month uh, to see what we're going to come out owing here. All right, so figure that out. We're almost uh, through. All right, so we'll have to take this and we'll multiply this by 1 raised to the 30th power. Now, that's a lot of months. Okay, and so that's going to come out to be, again, rounding it off roughly, 23,638. So our so this is what our loan uh, that we uh, amounts to of what we actually owe actually when we when we graduate graduate good okay so and that really just assumes we borrowed four thousand dollars for the first uh, four uh, semesters okay so how do we work out now our monthly payments well. Uh, we have to decide how long it's going to be to pay it off. Now, if we take a standard time uh, period, say we'll pay off in 10 years. Okay, so we wanna, we'll want we have to calculate that payment. The payment then is going to be what? Well, we can go back to our uh, calculator here, and, and fortunately, uh, we can do this by looking at the apps and going to TBN Solver. And so let's see, 10 years will be 120 months. Uh, our interest rate, we'll assume it's still 12%. Uh, the present value was going to be, well, let's see, I guess I'll use this rounded off number. It was a little slightly different. I just wrote it down for this way for these. Okay, 12 months, so we're making 12 monthly payments. What is the payment going to be? We'll solve for that. Uh, it's 339, basically 14. So the monthly payments are going to be uh, 339, 14 a month. Oops. Okay, so how much total interest do the bank actually uh, get from this or what the total uh, interest that we pay. Well, how do we calculate that? Well, we're going to pay 339.14 times 120, and then we'll have to subtract from that the amount of the loan, which was uh, the total amount we actually borrowed was 16,000. The difference is going to be that. I guess that arithmetic is bad enough. I have to do it with the calculator again. So let's go back to uh, the calculator here. And we can multiply 339, 14 times 120. Okay. And now let's subtract the 1600 from that, or 16,000. Okay. Actually, I guess I could have done that in my head. So this worked out to be what here? Whoops. Come back here. And this worked out to be. Uh, 46.96, and so when we subtract the uh, 16,000 from that, it's 24,696. So uh, there's where what we ended up uh, paying in interest, the total interest that we paid there. So in this scenario, uh, the thing to keep in mind is that when you borrowed money, you didn't pay any interest on it until you graduated. And then that interest just accumulated and added to the principal. Uh, and then you had to pay off uh, the loan together with the accumulated interest. Okay, in the next video, we'll take a look at what um, Sally May was suggesting as the way they're now going to handle student loans.